Interesting. Okay, what about the Jamrock Shuffle? Uh, Jamrock. Oh, the Jamrock Shuffle. Okay. Yep, yep. Uh, uh, find better loot in locked containers. That'd be great if we hadn't just unlocked most, if not all of them. Right. I right. don't know where we'd find more, unless there's a new zone that we have not discovered that I don't know about. There is, actually. Remember when we were looking at all the different locations that the shot could have come from? One of them is on an island out in the out in the bay. I've never been there. So there could be stuff there. Maybe it's further along in the story, kind of like how day three. Oh, probably. We... Mm. All right. How about advanced race theory? Uh, advanced. Race theory. Uh, minus. Okay, um, research minus one drama. Okay, um, compl completion plus one conceptual conceptualization okay. and rhetoric base learning cap raised to five. Rhetoric gets raised to five? Yes, rhetoric base learn base learning. Guess who raced to five? Okay, so it would give us one more slot in rhetoric. But that's about it, I guess. Yeah. Uh, magnesium based life form. Uh, magnesium based life form. Minus one logic, plus two volition. All right, that's direct. Indirect modes of taxation. Uh, indirect modes of taxation. <laughs> Ultra liberal dialogue gives plus one real, minus one empathy. Okay. I don't think we have any real empathy checks that we need anymore, so that wouldn't be a bad thing. But we'd have to pick ultra liberal shit. For more money. Um, regular law official. Uh, regular law official. Oh. Mm, oh. Okay, it's bad, bad, pretty good. Okay. Wait, so... no, n n never, never mind, never, never mind, never mind. No, n never mind. Um, but a minus one inland empire. Okay. Minus one shivers. Okay. All learning caps raised to three. That does nothing for us at all. There's nothing that's below three in the learning cap section. Right. All right. So that one's completely useless. Uh, this, this might be pretty good if we were doing an all one run. Well, if we did one in any one of them, it would be good. Like if we did yeah. two, one, and then just max the others out as hard as we can. Yeah. All right. Uh, Mazovian socioeconomics. Uh, Mazovian social economics. Uh, minus one authority, which I kind of want. A minus one visual calculus. Okay. Left wing dialogue gives four XP. That's some XP. A and critical theory overdue. Wait, never, never mind. That's just the... Um, flavor text to it. Critical theory overdrive. So I like that one. And with the bonus XP, we can always just boost authority again. Um, 
Let's see. Where's the last one that we got here? Rigorous self critique. Uh. Critique. Rigorous self critique. There we go. Uh. Learning cap. Wait, we we might we might want this. Okay. Um, learning cap on pain threshold raised to six. Already there, so that one doesn't do anything for us. Um. What else? Got? Crap! A uh, crap. I usually get f f y s and p s y confused. Is p is what's p s y again? Psyche. Okay. Um, intelligence and psyche, red check, failures, heal one morale. Physical, so, physical, and MOT, red check, failures, heal one health. Okay. Interesting. So, for that, we... So, what, what do we get again? You said pain threshold to six. Um, I N T and P S Y red check failures heal one morale. Yeah. F F Y S and M O T failure red check failures heal one health. So, I don't think it's worth it. If only oh. because we have more than enough money and we can just keep buying the drugs we need to heal. Yeah, but that is a pretty nice one, it sounds like. If we weren't rolling in cash right now, I would agree. Right. But we've got more than enough to, to deal with anything like that at this point. So... The only one that really sticks out to me is Mazovian, as far as, like, ones that we might want to look into. Okay. Now, whether or not we hold on to it the whole time, you know... Can always toss it out the window later. But in the meantime, we could keep getting the XP. Um, I was just curious what our options were. I didn't really think any of the other ones stuck out to me, other than obviously our plan for contact Mike here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, oh, geez, I know. I've noticed this episode is running long, and we didn't do an intro outro. <laughs> Yeah, but I'll I'll probably split this into two parts. I think that may have happened like four, maybe seven episodes ago, like two to three weeks for us. But mm -hmm. I, I know that happened one other time during this that we went super long on something and I'm like eh, I I should cut this some way down the line, so yeah. yeah. Yeah, so we'll just we'll just continue on through this until we reach the next break. Cut right. off with this one. Yeah, like I said, Mazovian's the only one that really sticks out to me to to really consider. The rest don't seem to do us any good at the moment. Okay. Um other than maybe indirect modes of taxation. Maybe. Mm, maybe. Cuz it's just bonus money. Yeah. At the cost of some stats. Um, yeah, Mazovian's the only one, but even then. Alright, uh, the other question is, we have two of these right now. If we're not going to put one in for abilities, is there anything specifically you want to put it into? Um. Um, and just so we have an idea here, conceptualization is still a thing. And wait, wait, wait. Are, do all the white... The white lines mean they're locked currently. I think or... the ones that aren't white are not locked. Like, these are unlocked right now. Okay, so... Could we try some of them and then use Contact Mike, unlock everything? Contact Mike unlocks... All white checks, right? Or is it all physical checks? All wait, let me let me just go back here. Let me just double check here. Uh 
the litany of contact, Mike. Oh, wait, ne never mind. You were right. All physical white checks are okay. unlocked. Yeah, I had to double check myself. So. Huh. They call that pink. I would call that more red to me. Mm hmm. Yeah, I would, I would consider that like a. Ma Maroon? It, yeah, it's something that's not quite. It's like a light red, right? Like a. Yeah. Not not quite enough blue in there for purple. Yeah, n and not enough white for pink. Yeah. Let's so we... see here. We could. Try. Because what time is it now? Like right 8 o'clock ish? Uh, 1900. 701. Um, so the net, the other thing that we do have to do while we're out here is we can go and grab that buoy that has Clausier's fake information in it. Okay, let's do that. Hold on a second. I'm just, I just want to double check something because I know the map doesn't tell us and I don't want to walk all the way back there. Light bending man. Let's double check what you got going on, buddy boy. All right, let's see here. Because they're red checks, I remember that much. Yeah, it's conceptualization for him. Okay. Right, because art degree is fucking us. That's the that's the other reason. Art degree is screwing us right now. Yeah. In that department, and we have and, one more slot to to throw and, in. And I thought we were going to get rid of art degree mid to late day five. And yes, get back yes, to that's right. I was trying to remember um, what his thing was. I knew we had a plan, but I couldn't recall the plan. Yeah. Ooh, perception has. Given us our motor exception. Yeah. I know There's a slit we were... in the concrete here, a sewer. The light vanishes inside the concrete slit. The structure goes deep under the earth. Sorry, go ahead. Finish what you were saying before we. Um. Get yeah. Into this. Because I know we 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 wanted to boost encyclopedia as much as we could before ending the thought. Be Wait, is it, art, we... is it art degree that's giving us the? No, our degree is giving us the conceptualization. No, ones. no, no. Because I, I also thought that encyclopedia checks gave us XP too. They do, but it's on a different thought. It's not our degree that's doing that one. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, but, but we will see. lose a slight income of experience. Which we could. It won't be the same, but we could arguably replace that with Mazovian economics. And how much would that give us? Uh, it won't be ten, but it'll be four, if I recall correctly, is what you said. Yeah, but we would need to actively select them rather than passively. Yeah. Wompty Dom, that's the one that's giving us the encyclopedia ones. Yeah. I don't know, man. Oh. I'm just saying. So wait, 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 I'm getting rid of actual art degree or Wompty Domp. Which one will we get rid of? Uh, if we want to try and get the real from the dude, um, or like uh, uh, get the get the light bending dude to to pass that test, uh -huh. I would say actual art degree. Okay, okay, um, good, good. Be unless because... we can find a way to just manage to get enough of a bonus to make it not matter. Okay, because, huh? I thought it, I thought it was encyclopedia that we were getting rid of for some reason. Oh, okay, okay. No. Huh? We are trying to get conceptualization up. Okay. And the fact that we have an art degree is what he does not like. It doesn't say it here, but it says it when we tried to hit the roll. Yeah, yeah. I, it shows I remember up minus that. Two. I remember that. Mm-hmm. So, Let me just check something quick. What? 
I want to say because I didn't think art degree had a would have mattered. Oh. What? Interesting. So there's a point we won't be able to reach him. Oh. I don't know when this triggers, but there is a point where he is not reachable anymore. Oh. Optional counter, yada, 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 rhetoric check, being easier. One more door, face the outside one, and face the Wait, wait, wait. We will need to spend a skill point to forget the thought? Yes. Oof. Oof. Yeah, no. Okay, so it's not saying anything else? Let's see... And you really want this to happen because it it opens up a lot more stuff that we may or may not get around to. It opens I, up I'm... a lot more side quests. Hmm. But I'm not too sure how late in the game we are, so... It said whenever that mercenary tribunal triggers. I don't know when that is. That sounds like it may be endgame. Arguably. Does it say... Does it tell me when? Let me click on that because it was a... thing. When does this happen? Okay. Don't spoil yourself. Okay, no. We're very close to it happening. Oh. Um, so... It, it's it's literally tied to Ruby. I can tell you that much. Oh. So, it is tied to finding Ruby. I don't know if it starts then. Or not. Or if it's, like, all said and done right then and there. Let me okay. just double check something here. It and, says... And we are going to get our gun film. Like, who was it that we're going to get our gun film? Um, some woman who has it. Oh. Okay, I thought they said her name. They gave her a title. I don't remember what the name was. The oh, um, was, um, though. the pigs? I think... Mm -hmm. I think that's what. The that, yes, that's right. For whatever reason, she was calling herself pigs. Right, that's right. Or like the pigs. Yeah. Okay. So it says the task. The military tribunal. The mercenary tribunal starts after we talk to Ruby. Which means. So this says after the tribunal. So. Whenever we find Ruby, it, this is what it sounds like. Whenever we find Ruby. The tribunal starts. Okay. At whatever the end point is, and I don't know when that is, we won't be able to get back into that shipping yard. And therefore, uh. we will not be able to talk to the uh, light bending dude. Oh. Uh. So. Okay, here is my thought currently. We will finish out the day normally. We will get rid of actual art degree beginning of day five. Talk to Light Bending Dude, track down Ruby. Here's my thought. Okay. Before we do that, we pump conceptualization to its final point. Because we've got okay. one last slot open in it. You have not even seen my final form! <laughs> so, yeah, I would say we add that in. Okay. That would be the only thing I'd want to do um, before we do all that. And then we can check with him, see if Seven or whatever other bonus clothing we have found in the meantime 
affects this. Okay. See where we're at. If we still think it's going to be a, pro- if it still seems like it's going to be a problem, we'll get rid of art degree. Okay. Fair enough. All right. So I want to do one other thing because I think C Lang's box of and sunglasses would... still has that thing. Yeah. Le- so um, back to visual calculus. Um. Ho! There's no echo and no answer. Ya yeah, yo ya yeah, yo. Um, what's in there? Maybe it's just a storm drain for the sewer. Kim. Hey, hey Kim. Um, any idea what's down there? No idea. Could Is be it... connected to one of the buildings around here. Think we might find Yubi down there? We might find her down somewhere. There's an old storm drain system beneath Martinez that's mostly collapsed. Revachol's sewage system has been built and rebuilt four or five times now. In conclusion, she could be under any building. But not in there? I hope not. Okay, finish slot. Sad. Alright. Uh, we're gonna have to go up and around, I think. Well, there is a staircase there. Yeah, but it doesn't lead all the way out to the end. Ah, oh, fair point, fair point. Oh, we can check these again? There's nothing else to do with the trap. Okay. Okay. Wasn't there something... Up so what were you just checking? Is there something here that would indicate a sniper used this place as a nest for taking the shot? This was just one of the shot locations, that's why. A bottle and a dilapidated old comms tower. In the distance you can hear the breakers roar. I don't see it, Lieutenant W. Freitor. I don't see a person take a shot here and hit something there. In the whirling in Iraq. Maybe the campfire was used by the perpetrator? To warm his hands before pulling the trigger? Perhaps. But anyone could have made this. The coast is specked with fire this time of year. He looks around. Truthfully, this seems like a very poor choice to take a 1.2 kilometer rifle shot from. Visibility is awful. There's water vapor everywhere. I think we can rule out Beatable Prime, was it? Oh, uh, look look over the water to the whirling of your eggs. There, 1.2 kilometers over the cold water of the bay, through a thick snowstorm melting flake by flake in the waves, you see the smallest rectangle, barely visible. It's glowing in the dark night. The lights are on. Glazia must be in there. Looks like she kept her promise not to go out at night anymore. Such a good girl, you think. What about the cigarette butts? Those? A smoking assailant who favors Tumutiri to Astra or Joan? Cigarette butts are everywhere. This is a common brand for all men. Tiumutiri was a Revisholian colony on Ilma. <laughs> up to 97 percent the region was known for its tobacco export hence the name hey kim can you see this money just pop out of my brain <laughs> enough the cigarettes aren't important nothing is unimportant detective uh, uh maybe the assailant climbed the comms towers took the shot there it's not possible to climb that ladder, and even if it were, why? There's no platform up there to aim from. Lieutenant looks up, raising his collar. It does look extremely rickety, and wouldn't help much either. Uh, finished thought. Alright, one, one location down. So what were you looking at with that pause? Oh, it was the, uh, the insect thing. Ah, uh, so no, 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 like you was looking at something. Hmm? Like, no, you were checking something. Uh, or like, like a few minutes ago. I don't remember. Oh. 
I meant like you personally, not he not like the characters. Okay then. I mean, we were looking at like time for the tribunal, but that was about it. Uh, yeah. So we we looking at like a do a text document or like a video or. Oh, oh, it was a it was a little website. Okay, because if it was a video, I didn't want any like sound bleeding over from there nope, nope. into any possible twitch. Nope, we're good. Okay. This is gonna be the clue you got. Class J told us about. A metal and plastic contraption bobs up and down amidst the trembling reeds. At first, it just looks like trash, but if you look closer. That over there. Must be the boy class she told us about. The one she hid her passport in. We should take a look. Pick up the buoy. You lift the boy out of the water without much effort. It's not tied to anything. The cords dangling from the bottom appear to have been cut. Sniff the buoy. It smells like you would expect it to smell. A concentrated version of the coast. Salt, industrial slop and decay. The water this side of the peninsula is cleaner. Actually, smells a little salty. Shake the buoy. There's something in there, splashing around. Examine the plastic ball. The number 11 has been written on the yellow plastic. It hasn't been in the water for very long, but it's already discolored and slimy with silt. A latch holds it close, but only just barely. The brittle metal of the latch has cracked. Simple construction. Very unsafe. Open the buoy. A shot glass's worth of seawater pours out. Some algae. And nothing else. Huh. Oh. Somebody got rid of her documents. And what well, was rattling? Damn. Yeah. Also, it did say that the line was cut, which is weird. Right. So that means somebody definitely got here and took it. The true murderer? Or Ruby, for some reason. It... Is Ruby actually the murderer? No. I have no idea. Hmm. At this point, she's the strongest suspect Will we Lucky is still here. A little longer, and it would have floated away. We still got here too late. There's nothing of use here anymore. No documents? Who do you think took them? I have no idea. Lieutenant taps his foot, frowning. This is a minor quirk. We know what what was in that buoy anyway. Or think we do. This is a small loose end, either way. Not important, I hope. Maybe Clausier took them herself. That may very well be the case. We should keep an eye on her. Nothing more for us to do here. Let's go. You could ask the miss what she thinks later, if you have the time. Though you doubt she'll tell you much at this point. Let the empty buoy be. Wow, that's interesting. So what was rattling? That's a solid question. I don't know. Because you'd be able to tell with the seawater. It would slosh. It wouldn't rattle. Alright, I think... Maybe it's a water cryptid! Oh god, no. <laughs> a scattering of bullet holes is spread across the cracked wall. 42%. What do we have as far as visual calculus goes on our person? One pair of glasses. Who? One coat. Who? And 
that's it. So okay. we got a 72% chance. Reaching from one corner to the other. If we would find bullet holes in the third spot, we might be able to check this higher, but I wouldn't know where else they would be, so let's mm. try it at 72%. Well, what? I mean, we're planning on putting one more point into this stat anyway, so... Oh, no, we're, that's that's conceptualization, not visual calculus. Right, right, well, right. Um, so why... Why this many bullet holes? A row of hey, yeah! shades stand facing the wall. There are many of them. A dozen at least. The heads lowered and eyes blindfolded. It's quiet. No sound. No movement. Ten meters away, other shades are lined up in an orderly manner. Automatic rifles primed. A gust of wind blows by. The coats of the firing squad flap slowly in the breeze. A single person stands on the side. A long time has passed since the moment of this fusillading. Rain and brine have since washed all the blood away. Not a trace remains. What is this? The abundance of bullet holes leads to two options. Either an inordinate amount of executions were performed here, or... They did not use a conscience round, where only one soldier has the loaded rifle. Looks like this was a mass execution with everyone fully armed. Look at the line of soldiers. Seven men in combat uniforms and dark coats, holding automatic rifles aimed at the people. Soldiers from some side, but from which one? Look at the people against the wall. A host of men, probably in everyday clothes, ragged from the conflict and covered in dust. They were not sitting, a common practice for executions in some nations, as demonstrated by the height level of the bullet holes. They stand, huh. facing the wall. It's impossible to discern any details about their personality or background. Look at the person standing on the side. The Commandant, the one who gives the order. Machine gun fire crackling through the air. The lights of the muzzle flashes dancing on his face. Kim, who is who in this execution? I don't know. I don't know who died here, lined up beside that horrible wall. It could have been any of the parties involved in the revolution. Perhaps the ones executed here were the loyalist conservatives killed by the communists at the start of the civil war. Or it could have been the communists, put to death during the last stretch of the conflict by the coalition forces. Remember what Trent Heidelstam said about Veld? What if it was the failed personnel when their assets were being seized by the revolutionists? Another likely scenario. Lieutenant Nods. Or maybe... What about the people from the Coalition, the so-called moralists? Yeah, it's very unlikely the Coalition forces were the ones who died here. They were always the last ones against the wall. To be honest, if a Coalition member was anyone in this situation, it was a Commandant, the superior giving the orders. Goodbye, wall! A cold sea wind blows away the figures. Behind this building, the other one, once filled with engineers and designers of Feld Electric, now collapsed and dead, but for some rats. You feel drawn, for some reason, to the faded mural again. A door, a building, a hiding place. Could be the insta could the instigator be inside? Maybe. All right. Well, one of them I thought was on like a faraway building to check. Which maybe it's the fell building over there, not this one. And and then you said the other one was the island that we'll probably get to. 
at some point. You know, the get to at some point, that makes me think it probably came from there. The fact that we can't explore it now, that some we'll see something there that will be like, oh my god, everything makes sense now. That's you just my thought. Old sprite mural towering. Above Could you. Be. The signage has peeled off over the years, but you can still make out Feld Electrical RND, a slogan used to intertwine with the loops a long time ago. Alright, so that's nothing we didn't already do. And there was the guy that taught us how to use an encyclopedia. Yeah, he was the Wompty Dompty Dom dude. Buzz, hum. The electricity flows through the wires with an audible power. The encyclopedia of our mind. And then that brings us out to the pier again. Although with the dead man gone, what can we do with the Listen trash? To it. An empty nope, nothing. Alright. It was worth a look. I don't know why it's still green. Take a look. It's in our mind. Visual calculus. Oh god. You are terrible. Oh, you know what we can do? What? We can run back into the church. Ooh. Innocence Dolores Day liked little figurines, right? Liked holding little men between her fingers, remember? Now what? What? You have the headless Farrell Rider figurine. You should give it to her. Win her back. I should! Yes! This is a task of mine now! <laughs> what? So very, very, very nifty. Nifty and mysterious. This is surely what the figurines are for. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I am so... How? The mother of humanism stands above you. A precious and complex wax painting on a single pane of glass. A crack runs across the length of her body. Her face oval and sad. Well, looks like I can't give this figurine to her. Why? Because she's a stained glass window. That does seem to be a problem. Maybe you meant something else? Like what? Is the task still on? I don't know. What are we thinking of? Part of your mind has gone on to other things already. <laughs> Only a strange little sadness remains. The mother of humanism towers above you. A wax painting on a cracked pane of glass. Uh, turn Nothing away? What the fuck do I do? I don't know! <laughs> how, how do I offer her I don't understand. Alright. I thought this would still be here. Can these wires work as, as contact microphones? Oh, hey, wait, 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 wait! Contact microphones or contact mic microphones? Oh god from a stained glass window. Still has letters on it, too. Alright, yeah. Okay. I thought... Hmm. I wonder what triggers it. Because I know the person here comes back at some point. So, um, on the next episode of Disco Elysium, we will be doing, um, some other stuff. Other stuff. Yay! Yay! Die!